Hey everybody, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here, and today I'm asking the question, you're not even on 5G? That is so yesterday. We're on 6G now, and here's what's going on. This is absolutely fascinating and interesting, and it's coming from the BBC as well as various, uh, obviously, Chinese state media, because this is where this is coming from. But China has apparently successfully launched what it has been describing as, and I quote, the world's first 6G satellite into space to test this technology. Now, it went into orbit yesterday along with 12 other satellites from the Taiwan Satellite Launch Center in the Shangxi province. Now, the telecom industry, and I probably don't have to point this out, is several years away from actually agreeing on specifications and standards for 6G, so it's not yet certain that the tech that's being trialed here will actually make it to the final standard, but they're essentially moving in that direction. And according to Chinese state media, and I quote, it will be used to verify the performance of 6G technology in space uh, as the 6G frequency band will expand from the 5G millimeter wave frequency to the terahertz frequency. Now, the satellite, um, the satellite is the first te technical test of terahertz communications application in space, said Yang Sheng, uh, an academician at the Chinese Academy of Engineering. That is, again, according to Chinese state media. Now, they also said that the satellite carries an optical remote sensing load system to monitor for things like crop disasters, prevent forest fires, check forestry resources, and monitor water conservancy and mountain floods, as well as provide abundant satellite images and data. So feel free to let your speculation run wild on that one. But I think this is absolutely really interesting in the sense that uh, China has been on the forefront of rolling out the standardization for 5G technology. We are obviously here in the United States spinning up that infrastructure, and there have been uh, talks under the current administration, which appears uh, that it may change because this morning, uh, uh, candidate uh, former Vice President Joe Biden became President-elect Joe Biden. So uh, we will see where this goes, but the U.S. government has been talking about building its own 5G infrastructure, which is not uh, basically going over well with the carriers here that are obviously private corporations. So we'll see where this goes. But I think this is actually very interesting in part, as we launch more space activity, uh, you know, 6G, just given that they are moving it up to the terahertz uh, range, is obviously going to have about 100 times more bandwidth capability, not to mention speed of latency and all of that over 5G, which we are rolling out to be blazing speed. Now, we've done, or rather the world has seen things across a 5G infrastructure, such as remote surgery and other very sensitive things. And so just increasing this or already working on the next standard is just amazing. And like any hardware development that we have, it seems like the infrastructure and the software just can't keep up. And so they're talking about 6G. Well, maybe next year we start developing 7G, even though there's not even a standard for 6. I mean, this is how the uh, arms race goes, if you will, not necessarily between nation and nation so much as it is competing technologies and the need to increase our bandwidth and speed as our technology improves, our resolutions get better, we add more devices, we need more infrastructure, and on and on. And once again, from the cybersecurity side, I wrote an article last year uh, for Forbes but called uh, Why 5G Will Get Us All Hacked, and it talks about the changing concept of what a security perimeter is now that everybody is going wireless, including a lot of corporations once 5G infrastructure is here. So this is very interesting. I think it's uh, going to be a very good test to see where the future goes. So we're going to watch this closely uh, to see just how good of the performance the unstandardized 6G performance is uh, you know, from China. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see where that goes. But I thought that was very interesting news for the day. And so now you know it, too. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And please feel free to subscribe to me at YouTube as well. And as always, stay safe and stay online. Thanks, everyone.